Hello and welcome to our piano tutorial. My name is Ray Luna and today we're going to learn Everything Counts by Depeche Mode. This is taken from the 1983 album Construction Time Again and I am so excited to teach it to you because it's one of my all-time favorites. Now this iconic song is pretty tricky to play so we're going to break this into two lessons. In lesson one we're going to learn the intro as well as both verses and the chorus and then in lesson two we'll wrap things up by learning the solo as well as the iconic outro of the song. So without further ado let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so we are in the key of A minor. Let me go ahead and play the intro for you now. Okay, let's go ahead and break that down. In the left hand, you're playing the following bass line. Right, and then back up to the top, it just repeats. Right, and then you keep going. Okay, so in the right hand, you're playing the following melody. Okay. E and G, then D, E, C. D, E, C. Okay. Okay, let's put the two hands together now and see how it sounds. Now you notice you're only doing three G's here, right? So when you do that, you're kind of switching to this one fast. Okay, so it's like this. I'll do it real slow for you. Here we go. One. Okay, here we go. Okay, so you hit that F right after you hit the C. So it's... Like that. Okay, so let's take that from the top one more time. Now we switch to this part. So ready? Okay, I'll walk you through that really slowly. We're doing the same bass line. Right? In the right hand, though, you're doing this. And up to the C. Hopefully you can see that. B and then down to A. Okay, first time is B up to C. Second time is B down to A. Okay. 
Okay, so let's do it again. Okay, so let's put the two hands together. Now, I know this part is really tricky, so I'm going to do it really slow. Here we go. Ready? So you're starting on the F from when you're finishing the uh, beginning of the intro. So you're going... Then you're going like this. Okay, two Fs as you walk up from the E to the G. Okay, so it's then a single A in the left hand and a double in the right, right? Like this. So let's do that again. I know it's confusing, but you're walking up, you're finishing the intro. I know gonna, this is the hard, one of the hardest parts of the song, right here. So here we go. So we walk up with the Fs in the left hand, right? Okay, so it's, right? Single A in the, in the left hand, double in the right. that okay Let's do that one more time. Ready? So that part's tricky. Like that. So on the second one, you're hitting, you're going to the A. So you hold it. That's why I kind of hold the B. You notice when I play it, I go like this. Kind of helps me with the. Like that. Okay, so it's. So hopefully that makes sense. Let's go ahead and take the intro from the very top and see how it sounds. Okay, and that leads us right into verse one of the song. Let me go ahead and play that for you now.
Okay, so let's go ahead and break down the verse. Now, I found the best way to teach you this is to show you both hands at the same time. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so we're starting in A here. We're going A E A, right? Like that. Okay, in the right hand, when you get to this A here, you're also going to start on this A. Okay, so you're going to be going A, E, and then A and C together. Okay, let me show you what I mean real slow. Like that. Okay, then you're going to do it again. And this time in the right hand, you're going to go A, C, and then to the A minor chord, like this. Okay, you're kind of building the chord. Right? So let's do that again. Right? The first time. Right? Then we do it again, the way we did it the first time. Then we move down to the E. Right, same pattern. When you get to this E, you start on this one. So it's like this. Okay, and in the first time, you're gonna hit E, B, and then D in that order. Then you do it again. And then reverse order. So E, D, and then B. Okay, so the first time you're going E, B, D, and then the second time you're going E, D, and then B. Okay, let's do it again. Right, and I'm adding the E to it. Okay, like that for a little bit of accent and to make it a little, a little juicier, or a little thicker. Right, then down to D. Right, D, A, and then D, A, C. Then the reverse. Right, so. Okay, so let's back it up a little bit. We'll start with the A again. Okay, let's go ahead and take that from the top here. back up to A minor. Okay, then we go to E again. Like that. Up to the A7. Okay, that's A, G, E. Okay, A7. Okay, so once again. Back down to the E. And then this part's fun, it goes like this. Okay, let's go ahead and break that down. In the left hand, you're going like this. A, twice, and then to the A major chord. Okay. Right? In the right hand, you're playing a and D flat, E and G together, D flat by itself, and then up to the A, like this. Okay, let's do that again nice and slow. Okay, let's do that again. All right, one more time. Okay, let's go ahead and back that up a little bit to the E.
like that. Okay, let's go ahead and take verse one from the top and see how it sounds. Okay, now as a side note, when I sing this part, I play it a little differently. I kind of play it like this. The handshake seals the contract from the contract. There's no turning back, the turning point of a career in career being in The holiday was fun packed. The contract still in. Like that. Okay? So you can play it however you're comfortable. If you want to play it with the bass line, you know, or something like that. Whatever is comfortable with you uh, as you sing it. Those of you who are programming this into logic or something, you're going to want to play it the original way, which is more like. Or. You know what I mean? Something like that. It's that kind of rhythm. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and move into the chorus now. Okay, and that leads us right into the chorus of the song. Let me go ahead and play that for you now. Okay, let's go ahead and break that down. In the left hand, you're starting with octaves in C here. And you're gonna be going from C up to G, F, and then to A. Okay, the first time. So let me show you. Like that. Okay, in the right hand, you're going to be playing the following melody. We're starting with an inverted C chord with a G in the bass. So here's your C, right? And we're taking that G and moving it down here. Okay, so we're kind of rocking back and forth like this. Like that. Okay. Down to a G chord. Okay. Right? And then we go to F and A. There's our F. Then we switch to E and A. Okay, so from here. Okay. So let me show you how that goes. One more time. like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the two hands together. Let me walk you through that really slowly. Okay, we start with the C's. Okay, so the change is a little bit behind the melody, right? Watch this. So let me show you again. So on the fourth F, you're gonna change to the, and then right away go to the A, okay? So real slowly, then to the G, on the beat here.
okay? So it's a little bit behind it. Like that. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Now we're gonna take it from the top and do it again, except this time it changes. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that one more time from the top. Okay, so now we repeat it. The first part stays the same all the way up until we get to the A minor. Instead, we'll be going to a D. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. This part stays the same. This part stays the same, except now you go to D. Like this. And it's still behind the beat like I explained earlier. Okay, just like it was with the A minor, it's a little bit, you stay on that fourth and you change to here and then right away go to the D. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm gonna do it once again really slow. Like that. Okay, let's take the chorus from the top and see how it sounds. Okay, and that leads us right into the last part of the chorus, and that's the part that goes like this. Okay, so let me go ahead and walk you through that. We just finished changing to the D on this part, so it's... and then right to the A. Okay, so I know that's a lot. Let me show you, here we go. Again, we're in A. You're gonna have to catch this rhythm here. So we go like this. Right here. And we're walking it up slowly. So together in unison, we're playing A. Right. Then we're going here to D. Right, D minor third there. To F. Up to the G. Right, and then up to an A flat there it looks like. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that once again. Okay, let's take the chorus from the top and see how it sounds.
okay, the chorus is sounding great, but there's one more thing I wanna show you. When you play the chorus the second time around, you're gonna repeat the last line again. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, so you come in like this, you know, it's a competitive world, right? Everything counts in large amounts. Then you go to this. Repeat it. Everything counts in large amounts. Which takes us right back into the second half of our uh, intro. Right? So that's going to lead you into the solo of the song, which then takes us into lesson two. So technically, you have all the parts you now need to play the song. So let me walk you through that last part again. You're going to go from here. Right? Everything counts in large amounts. Then you go right to the A. Right? A to C, so. Like that. Then you go down to the B in the right hand and down to the G down to the F, and then A in the right hand, okay? So once again, then back down again to the D. Everything counts in large amounts. Back to the intro. Right? Something like that. Okay, that's going to lead you right into the solo. So you know all the parts you need to play the intro. Verse one and two are exactly the same. So we've already learned that. And now you know the chorus and the lead up to the solo of the song, which then leads us into lesson two. So let me go ahead and sign off now. I want to thank you all. We are up to 1,000 subscribers and I am so excited. That's why I wanted to pick this epic lesson to start off my, you know, the thousand subscribers kind of uh, to celebrate that and to also answer all those people who've been waiting so long for this lesson. I want to thank you all for your patience, for your time, and for your kind comments and generous support. I will see you in lesson two and we will finish up Everything Counts with the solo as well as the outro. Have a good one and we will see you next time.